Hello, lovely Sagittarius. Welcome, my friends. I'm so blessed to have you with me today. Today is your general weekly reading for December 10th through the 16th, 2023. I will begin your reading with crystals crying and continuing on with the tarot and then some oracle at the end. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, lovely Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, Holy Divine, all who are with me in the highest divine realms of love and truth, I ask that you please show me, tell me, or both. What does Sagittarius need to know for the upcoming week's energies, please, Spirit? Thank you. Here. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, who is Sagittarius? Here. Okay. And who is this? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, nice. Sagittarius, I see you working on something. You have something in your hands. I can't really tell what it is. It looks like it could be a device like a phone. But it also could be a paper. So it could be some kind of document or some kind of list, something that you're writing your goals and dreams down on. But above you, this is the interesting thing. Above you, I'm seeing uh, like a spirit guide. Um, and But you know how uh, an angel uh, is portrayed with wings. And you see that if the, if the wings are up and outspread it kind of forms a heart in the in the top well i'm seeing something like that however it's a spirit guide it's not actual wings i'm seeing it's almost like um uh some kind of robe but the robe is kind of stiff and comes up uh around and it's forming a heart shape almost like wings um like almost like what they will do so it's very interesting but the, what that's telling me is i feel like that you are being divinely guided whatever this is that you're holding on to and it could just be something symbolic it could be a memory that you're holding on to but there's something you're holding on to that it's something divine okay So if it's a memory of someone, it could be a memory of someone who has passed from physical body and transitioned into spirit realm. Um, but again, it could be some kind of uh, application you're feeling out for a job or a higher position or going back to school or something like that as well. But whatever this is for you, it's like spirit is in this for you. And it's going to assist you with this as long as you take all the action that you can towards this. The spirit is going to be there right there with you to help you with this. Okay? It's very awesome. Let's go ahead and go to the tarot and see what spirit has for you, Sagittarius. Spirit, Holy Divine, please show me, tell me, or both. Thank you. Within the card, reverse or upright? Upright. Okay, what do we have? Oh, wow, this is fantastic. We have the Nine of Cups. Look, we have wish fulfillment here. Are you kidding me? The one and only card that comes out, wish fulfillment. Okay, I'm telling you. Oh, my gosh. And look, there's wings. There's wings. Look at that. Sagittarius, you're getting ready to embark on some kind of new journey here. That is definitely spiritually guided. It's something that uh, for many of you could be something that you planned in your soul contract before coming into this lifetime. This is very interesting. This is great. Spirit, please give me more on this Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Cards aren't coming out yet, so this could be something that you have been working on or thinking that you like, like you would like to manifest 
uh, in your near future, but it's like uh, you've been thinking about it, some of you, for years, um, attempting to manifest this for years. For some of you, it could be a situation where you would take steps towards manifesting this, but then it seems like there's some kind of distraction that would happen or some kind of roadblock, something like that. And it's like uh, it never did get completed. And it's like now Spirit's saying, whatever this is that you're holding on to, it's coming. It's coming. But you have to take action for it, okay? So what do we have here? Oh, nice. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Moon. I love this. I love this. Okay, so the Six of Pentacles. This is Spirit saying that you are getting ready to have uh, some abundance here coming in, okay? Now, this abundance with the Six of Pentacles, this is like uh, having more than enough, okay? Now, it's not saying, you know, mega millions of dollars and things like that, but it's saying that it's going to provide more than enough for what you need. And usually with this card, it's saying that, okay, Spirit is saying, I'm going to give you enough to take care of your own needs and a little left over to help others who may need some help, okay? Um, and that could be in the form of many things, not just money. It could be, um, you know, having enough food left over that you can help someone else. Or, uh, and it can also even be knowledge. It can, you know, it can be uh, your energy. It can be so many different things here. But it's definitely a sign of abundance coming in. And you're going to have more than enough for whatever it is that you need in your life, okay? Now, with this moon card, I really feel like that this is just saying that things that seem to be hidden before, ways of um, obtaining this goal may have been hidden to you, or you may have been taking the long way around and not being able to see the clear path to get there, okay? But Spirit's saying now, the illusion is going to be gone. It's going to be lifted. You're going to see things clearly. I love this for you. And the thing, too, about the Six of Pentacles, you want to be careful, Sagittarius, because many times um, with this card as well, uh, when you become or when this abundance comes into your life, be careful for people that don't truly need the help um, to have their hands out, you know, family members, buddies coming around, you know, people hearing, hey, you know, Sagittarius is really, you know, um, doing well now, um, and all of a sudden, you know, I'm your best buddy, you know, or, oh, you're my favorite cousin, you know, so be aware of that, because um, Spirit is blessing you with this, Sagittarius, um, because of all of the blood, sweat, and tears, you're taking action to put into something, to manifest it, um, because uh, sometimes other people will try to um, ride your shirt tail. So in other words, sometimes people who don't put in the work that you're putting in um, will want a piece of that pie, okay? And Spirit's saying no. No, this is for you, Sagittarius, and then enough left over to help people who really, really are in need, okay? All right, let's see what else Spirit would like to tell you within the Tarot Sagittarius. Thank you. Reverse or upright? Okay, thank you. And we have, yes, three of Pentacles. Okay, I love this. Okay, so this is, this is like acknowledgement, okay? This is like uh, someone admiring a skill, a talent, something that you, um, something that you're really good at, okay? It's, it's also about, um, yes, beginning to pay attention to detail, but it's like also a card of being focused, uh, staying in focus, because uh, this Three of Pentacles, if you look at the Rider weight deck. That card in that deck 
you will see a person who is painting on a window okay now to the side you will see two others who are who are onlookers who are admiring the work of this person however even though these two people are admiring they're over here ooing and aahing like oh wow that's gorgeous that's beautiful and although that's wonderful and although it's encouraging um that can cause a distraction okay so just be aware of distractions at this time as well okay while that you are um on this path of manifesting or creating uh whatever this heart's desire is i love this spirit and what else do we have ten of wands reverser upright okay upright and we oh and we have the sun oh sagittarius this is amazing okay so this ten of wands that's telling me you know this has been a very challenging um very hard time okay that you've been it's like you've been going up a very 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 steep mountain but but this ten of wands you know it's like when you get to the top of that mountain this is saying that this is almost over that this cycle's almost done i mean it, it seriously is because and as soon as you get to that top it's like a few more steps and you're going to be at the top of that mountain and as soon as you get there you can lay all of those sticks down you'll be at your destination you can you can all that heavy burden you can lay it down okay and you can you can start a new journey coming down that mountain now okay so much easier so much less stressful and you know by it being with the sun card okay that's all that's like all the hopes dreams everything manifesting you know coming to fruition pure happiness pure joy whatever it is that um you know is going to bring some kind of abundance to you that is going to make you happy make your spirit happy that's what this card represents it's not going to be the same for everyone you know some people this can this card of the sun can mean peace it can mean happiness it can mean uh you know encouraging friends or loved ones to be in your vicinity you know so whatever it is that you are needing um it's like spirit saying be happy be happy be like that little child again um you know remember how it felt when you were a child and you didn't you didn't know about paying bills you didn't worry about uh traditions you didn't know about traditions and things like that all you knew was you wanted to go outside and play you wanted to play in the dirt or you wanted to play with your your toys okay that's that's what you knew and that's what was fun that was your heart's desires and having that imagination and spirit saying return to that return to that not worry don't worry just trust that whatever this is that is being divinely guided that you're holding on to it's coming as long as you take action it's coming and but the thing is now when i say take action that means taking action doing everything you know you can't just do one step and call it done okay you have to do everything possible that you know that you have done everything you can to take steps toward it and then at that point say okay God, Creator, Holy Divine, you know, universe, I need you to take this over for me and fill in the gaps and help me from here on out because I have done everything I know to do. Um, show me signs. You know, I do that too. Show me signs. Is there anything else I can take action on? Um, and, you know, show me signs. Tell me, you know, whatever. And, but you have to be looking for those signs as well. Be ready to accept that signs do come from the universe, okay? Um, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles. I love it with the Ace of Swords. Are you kidding me? You're coming into freedom here. The Nine of Pentacles, that's luxury. Sagittarius, 
luxury. This is reaping rewards. It's it's reaping a harvest of plant of seeds that you planted. This ace of swords, this is coming into a brand new beginning, a brand new happy beginning that's going to bring in a lot of freedom for you. And it's also going to be a, a cycle of where you're going to be standing in your truth. You're going to be, um, it's, because you, the knife is about communication. So it's going to be like you're going to be standing tall here. Okay. I love this. Okay. Congratulations, Sagittarius. So let's go to the Oracle and see what spirit has for you, Sagittarius. Okay. Thank you. And what do we have here? <gasps> okay. I love it. Karma consequences, cause and effect, debts, okay? So what I feel like here is with this karma, uh, with you having uh, the nine of pentacles, which is luxury, which is reaping your rewards, reaping what you have sown, um, I feel like that's what this card means. And if you do have any debts, uh, once you do receive this harvest, whatever this is, spirits bringing in for you, I do suggest that you do, you know, take action towards paying those off. If it's a huge, large sum of money, make out a payment plan. Don't just sit it to the side, okay? Make out, contact them, contact an attorney, do something, or reach out to an attorney. I'm not anyone to give legal advice. I'm just telling you what's coming through here um, as a tool. Okay, but, you know, set up some kind of payment arrangement that you can, that's good for you, and go from there, okay? Uh, but actually, do take steps towards clearing that debt, okay? Um, and we have apology, forgiveness, return, sorry. So, there could be someone uh, coming to you from the past asking forgiveness and this could be you as well going to someone and asking them for forgiveness for something okay um, and we also have family fertility parenthood pregnancy so some of you could actually uh, hear news of expecting a child but I feel like for most of you this is representing whatever this is that you're holding in your hand. Some some kind of creation here, okay? Um, then we have spying, social network, information and waste. So I feel like for those of you that someone um, is going to come to you to apologize or is thinking about that, they're watching you on social media. If you have a, a social media account and you post things publicly, I feel like this person um, is watching you to, you know, possibly see, um, you know, like, is this a good time to come to Sagittarius um, and try to make amends, you know, things like that. So just be aware of that, Sagittarius. And let's see, let's go ahead and pull the last deck here. Sagittarius, this is beautiful. I'm very, very happy for you. I mean, you, look at the good cards you had. You, the, the Sun card is one of the most sought after cards in the tarot for many people. Okay, because just because of all the abundance and happiness and love and healing that comes with that card, it's amazing. I suggest that you look up the meaning of the sun card in the tarot uh, so that you can get the full aspect of it because it's an incredibly abundant card. Freedom, and you even had freedom. Uh, when uh, you receive, what was it? The Ace of Swords. That's another card of freedom. So it's like freedom coming to you. That could be uh, financial freedom. It could be uh, freedom, you know, in many different forms. Okay, Spirit. Okay, thank you. And what do we have here? Surrender to complete healing. Can't make it up. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Okay. And we have surrender to your intuition. 
Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. Love it. So it sounds like a time with a lot of epiphanies. Surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. So no matter how huge that mountain or challenge may seem, continue to keep it positive. Continue to think of the good things and, and surround yourself with positive, encouraging people and situations. Okay, that's what I have for you, lovely Sagittarius. May you have an extremely lovely and blessed week, my friends. Bye-bye.